Hello. Good afternoon, students. Okay. Okay, very good. Am I audible? Am I audible to all? Okay, okay, very good. Okay, thank you. Okay. So, how was your day? I mean, how was your long weekend? Mm-hmm. Wow, someone got into a quick vacation at Boracay. <laughs> wow, three-day vacation. What was that? Mm-hmm. It was Aldejan. Wow, that's so cool. Congratulations. How about the others? Mm -hmm. <laughs> You've read about the topic that we will be discussing today? Mm -hmm. Let's see. So I guess you are all excited. Aren't you? Aren't you excited? <laughs> or am I the only one who is excited here because I already flashed the discussion on my screen? <laughs> okay, you are all excited too. We are all excited. So without any further ado, let us begin our discussion. What you need to know about descriptive writing. Okay, let us start now. What is description or what is descriptive writing? So description is giving details about a person, a place, thing, etc. that allows the reader to experience what they have. So in order to create a good description, you must appeal as a writer you must appeal to the five senses and create pictures in the reader's mind so in order to describe i mean if we are describing a place of course the first thing you have to do is to observe your environment this includes the place the people the actions and the objects that are around you so remember, although you are writing, imagine that you are telling your friend about what you have experienced. Give them all the details they need. So describing is telling. Now, describing is creating word pictures. So you already use adjectives in your writing, but you want to be even more creative. You want to create pictures in their mind word pictures or imagery imagery does not only include what you see it also includes what you hear smell taste touch and even feel i guess you are all familiar with imagery we have discussed this before okay very good good for you you have remembered this okay okay so in order to to be more creative in your in your descriptive writing you need to create pictures or images in your reader's mind yes you need to create um scenarios even just by telling or sharing even just by writing but how would that be possible so your reader must be able to close their eyes, listen to your words, create a mental image of what you are describing. Is that possible? Because imagination makes it happen. But your words can help. Of course, so through your words, through the words you are using, through the adjectives, the creative words that you are using in your descriptive writing, your reader must be able to close their eyes just by listening to your words and of course they will create a mental image of what you are describing and that's what we call imagery very good so these are some descriptive details to consider when describing describing first an object so you need to examine the colors the shapes the sizes the texture of that object okay next one is when you are describing a person so these are some descriptive details to consider when describing a person you need to examine their physical appearance how they look if they are thin or fat their facial expression if they are happy sad their attire the attire they are wearing if it's classy cool old school and of course their gestures or body movements or how they move if they move lively or gracefully 
Now, in describing a place, what you should consider when describing a place is that you need to examine the location. Is it a man-made world buildings, objects, vehicles, or it's just a natural world that includes trees, animals, mountains, beaches, um, and, and also you can describe even an imaginary world, a place that doesn't exist, <laughs> even it's just an imaginary world. Now, I told you earlier that to describe is to tell. Now, show not tell. One of the most important things to remember when you are creating a description is to show not tell. What does this mean? Mm -hmm. Any idea? Okay, nothing. So we will be proceeding to a to an activity. Show not tell, so that you will know what does this really mean. So show not tell scenario number one. If you are writing about someone who is excited about going to a party, how would you describe this? A. She was excited when her parents gave her permission to go to the party, or B. Her eyes widened with surprise and her lips parted as she screamed with delight when her parents said yes. Mm -hmm. Letter B correct. Why? Because the, uh, the description in letter B is uh, describing the, the person's facial expression. Mm -hmm. the, the eyes that were widened with surprise and her lips parted as she screamed with delight okay very good next one we have show not tell scenario number two you are in the midst of a thunderstorm how would you describe this a the rain was falling heavily and everyone was afraid or b the raindrops attacked the galvanized roof and the windows rattled we huddled under the bed and held each other tightly letter b very good letter b why because um in this passage we can see that she is i mean the writer is describing an object the roof galvanized roof okay and also um the writer is describing um yes the raindrops the that attack their galvanized roofs and the windows rattled so the writer is describing an object next is which one is clearer so the evaluation of the show not tell scenarios the description in the first example or labeled a tells you what is happening but it does not create pictures in your mind while the descriptions in the second example labeled b create images in the reader's mind and allow them to to experience it fully so have you seen the difference okay very good that the description in uh, the first example are just merely descriptions plain descriptions simple descriptions but the descriptions in the second examples they create images in the reader's mind of course just like the rain attack the rain attack on the galvanized roof and the windows mm, yeah i forgot the passage and allow them to experience it fully okay very okay so okay okay yes yes i will be giving you activity later okay have you understood the topic today mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it was just easy <laughs> okay i'm so happy to hear that okay are you ready for the assignment okay very good so okay you will have an assignment i will I will give you an assignment that will be checked and evaluated with this rubric that I made. This is an analytic rubric. And you have to um, write an essay describing something, someone, or anything free. You are free of choice. But of course, with a twist. So last week, we have discussed about compound words. And you will be applying it on your essay. Am I clear? Okay. Okay, very good. Any question? Nothing. Wow, you already, you all understand what I have discussed today. 
Okay? Okay. Thank you so much. I guess that's all for today. Mm-hmm. Yes, thank you. Okay, you may now leave the meeting. Okay. Goodbye.